Hey, so let me show you what uh, what I do in my spare time. Not really spare time, but when I'm at a shipper waiting uh, on a load or whatever, I don't do it at the truck stop because you no know, people can't drive. And there's a chance, even though you're under the truck, there's a chance for you getting run over under there. Don't ask me how. I don't know, but I'm sure somebody will manage. But anyway, uh, here's what I got: a pair of gloves. Should have a pair. Uh, Nine sixteenth wrench. Uh, what's that for? That's for adjusting the brakes. Um, I adjust my own brakes. Um, occasionally, if, if the truck is in the shop, I'll have a mechanic do it. But, you know, at least once a week, I'll climb on, under there and adjust my own brakes. That way, I can see what's going on. And then, uh, uh, a grease gun with grease in it. Now, I buy the expensive grease. I think it's the, the green kind. I think it's like $5 or two. I mean, it's, it's relatively inexpensive. So, I just buy the, and it's supposed to last longer. Um, so I grease my own truck. Well, occasionally, most of the time I grease my own truck. Like I said, not, not unless I'm, the truck is in the shop or something, then I have a mechanic do it. But I already greased the truck. Um, here's a B model Caterpillar in case you want guys or want to know what engine I got in the truck. Um, I already did it. Uh, I went through, I checked the brakes and stuff like that. Um, here's the other side. Um, so while I was under here today, uh, I had an air leak, didn't know where it was coming from. And after doing a little, uh, um, test with here and there and trying this and trying that out is I had an airbag leaking. So I got to get that replaced. I'll probably just get both of them replaced at the same time, do two and then wait a couple weeks and do the other two so I already put brand new shocks on the truck um, so they're good they're good um, so I'll get those replaced and um, so now here's a tip uh, so I guess you can get a fine if you have an air leak if you get pulled in by the DOT so what you do is if they pull you in you just dump the airbags right then and there so that way ain't nothing leaking, you know, so uh, that's all for this one. Um, I'm just going to share with you some some tips that that I do. Uh, I ain't going to tell you everything. I'll sell you some stuff. Um, and that's the whole purpose of this channel, you know, is to, to, to generate some more income. But uh, I'll give you some different tips and tricks here and there that I do. Uh, I'll see you in the next one.